Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to touch upon the uh, low freon on an HVAC automotive system using the HVAC software that we have. Now. Uh, in this uh, diagram that you see uh, next, this is a, completed, a complete diagram. It shows you the uh, ECM, uh, the AC, um, uh, it's called the AC, uh, the, AC head, the AC head, which is the AC computer. Uh, this particular computer has to do with, um, with everything that's related uh, to, um, to the car, pretty much to, to the automobile. Uh, so the AC head is usually found, it's the one that has the buttons. That's the actual computer, 99% of the time. Now, on this next uh, slide here, we show you uh, a pretty much the same one as before, uh, but a uh, more, uh, uh, basically, we, we include it here, you know, so that you can actually uh, see it, you know, the, uh, the AC head. Uh, which is part of the this side here, okay? Uh, in other words, the AC head is part of the uh, the ECM the ECM reports to the AC computer, okay? Uh, the compressor clutch also uh, sometimes it is a variable displacement compressor. This is very common these days. So variable displacement compressors, you know, they change. The displacement and we have another video that deals with that uh, let me see if we could put it in um, uh, on screen now for you guys um, okay so here it is this is the variable displacement compressor and it, it actually changes uh, the uh, hold on one second because it will try uh, there you go so um, it changes the swash plate angle uh, so basically that's uh, it has a solenoid. It's a hydraulic solenoid that it has in there. It's a PWM control hydraulic solenoid. We have a PWM bidirectional controller unit that we actually use for to command this particular compressor because these compressors get replaced all the time. They're very expensive, okay, and there's nothing wrong with them. That, that's pretty much what we have to do. Uh, okay, so now on screen, as you can see, this is the actual AC, um, HVAC uh, troubleshooter. Um, software that we have on our website uh it's uh th this uh, software has one the the main um uh in other words the main feature of this software uh it's got a bunch of stuff in there but the main feature is the the pressure analysis which is the one uh, and you uh, navigate through the tabs on the top okay and using the pressure analysis you pretty much click on the high pressure gauge or the low pressure gauge and then click on return or the enter key okay so you don't have to keep pressing it you know to change the gauge you just click once and then press the enter key and that you can command the uh, 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 the gauges as you whatever so you input the pressures in there uh, depending on whatever you have okay uh, now so that's how you more or less how you, that's how you work the the software uh, it's very simple yeah, and then you click analyze pressure the yellow key uh, and so again what we're going to do here is we had a, a vehicle that came up with the following pressures, okay? And the following pressures, I believe, and you're going to see, we're going to see it right now, they were around 200 or 250. I don't, I don't think they went up to 250, okay, on the high side. Uh, and then, of course, this is a, a, a R134, but the R1234 is the same deal, the same pressures. It's, just, it's the same pressure analysis. And then, uh, then the low, the low side was really, really low. Uh, it wasn't a, uh, a cold day, so it was a hot day. And by the way, the AC turns on even if it's a cold day because it, it removes the uh, it removes all the uh, the moisture from the air. Okay. And so uh, what happened here? It's then we click analyze pressure and we came up with a low freon in there, and that's we sure enough. Uh, let me give me one second. Let me just. Sure enough, we went ahead and did a uh, uh, and did a um, uh, a freon recover. We recovered, 
uh, we did the um, um, there was no leaks in the system because we had already uh, installed some dye in there and there was no leaks in there and pretty much that that's just what it was you know uh, it, it's a very straightforward you know but it, it sh goes to show you that uh, that a pressure of 200 over 25 39 over 250 or 250 300 is the is the the perfect pressure and so the 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 device you know the software was able to uh, 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 give us a, uh, uh, a, a a pressure analysis right away uh, which you know was right on the money pretty much uh, so we'd like to thank you for tuning into our channel here at DP Trend. This, this was a short video just to show you uh, the things that you can do uh, with uh, with some tools that we have that you can uh, it actually lead to a proper diagnostics uh, and uh, you know a good repair pretty much whether it's your car or somebody else's car. Uh, so we'd like to uh, again thank you for tuning into our channel ADP Training. Subscribe to our website AutodiagnosticsAndPublishing.com, uh, where we uh, expose you to almost everything that uh, whatever you possibly think of. We have over 700 videos on our channel. We are always posting uh, new videos. Our website we give we give you free stuff. Uh, you know, like chapters of our books, uh, parts of our software, and so on and so forth. Uh, and again, so you know, um, you know, it pays off to subscribe to our website. And of course, if you, uh, we accept donations here on our channel, uh, or here on YouTube, for five bucks a month, you can become a uh, subscriber and really helps us out. You know, if you really like this sort of thing, you know, and it works for you. Anyhow, so thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.